Que pasa amigos, my name is Ash and today I am bringing with me a warehouse full of gaming stories from around the universe that I want to share with you on today's episode of Random Gaming News. To kick off today's episode, we start with two massive moves made by the creator of Fortnite, the one and only Epic Games. The first announcement they made was the absolute earth-shattering reveal of Unreal Engine 5. Unreal Engine has been a gaming industry staple for over two decades now and is truly a gaming icon. Originally built for first-person shooters, the engine has proved to be extremely flexible, hosting game genres like platformers, MMORPGs, and more. Gaming engines are developed and leased out to different gaming studios to utilize and build their game around, making it an extremely important and powerful tool within the industry. And just a couple days ago, Epic Games finally revealed the fifth iteration of the Unreal Engine, with a mind-blowing gaming demo and discussion about the engine, their goals, and plans for the future. While gaming engines are extremely extremely complex, here is what Epic has strived to achieve with Unreal 5. First, Epic Games says their goal is to, quote, achieve photorealism on par with movie, CGI, and real life. That in itself is a mind-blowing goal to have, and one that I will believe they will be able to achieve in the next few years, especially after seeing the demo I have playing right now. The game and graphics are insanely smooth and crisp, with intricate detail and physics built into every corner of this virtual world. The first of the two main focal points of Unreal Engine 5 are what's known as Nanite Virtualized Micro Polygon Geometry. I know that sounds simple, so uh, I won't even explain that. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. So uh, essentially what this means in a very general sense is that developers can basically build these worlds with atoms, or in this case, billions of polygons that act as the building blocks of any video game world. Without going into too much over my head detail, this feature is an extremely important factor in achieving immensely detailed games games that run smoother than ever. The second key feature is known as Lumen. Lumen is a dynamic lighting tool that allows for gorgeously lit scenes, utilizing realistic physics to create light reflections, refractions, and so much more. As Epic puts it, Lumen creates dynamically lit scenes by quote, changing the sun angle for time of day, turning on a flashlight, or blowing a hole in the ceiling, and indirect lighting will adapt accordingly, end quote. While lighting may not seem very important, in the world of video games, it's among the most important tools a developer can utilize to really bring a world to life. And for a far more detailed look at Unreal Engine 5, I'll have the full demo and discussion linked below, as well as Epic Games' website that has the description and detailed breakdown. Moving on to our next piece of news from Epic Games, who, like always, is making massive moves, they have announced they will be giving out Grand Theft Auto 5 for free on their virtual PC store. And just as I'm recording this, it's being reported that the Epic Games store has crashed as an absolute flood of players have been trying to squeeze in to snag this incredible deal for themselves. And I don't blame them in the slightest, as GTA 5 is a monster of a game and held at that $60 price point for a very long time, but while it has fallen to $30, this is still a great move by Epic Games and a great deal overall. As many know, the PC gaming store has dominated the landscape forever now. It's a staple of PC gaming and pretty much has a monopoly on that corner of the industry. With the Epic Games store launching in late 2018, 18, they have been looking to get their foot in the door any way they could, and by securing a game like GTA 5 and then giving it away for free is an absolute power move by Epic. They truly know what it takes to thrive in the world of gaming and have been absolutely killing it for a long time now. Look for Epic to continue to drop crazy deals like this, in addition to securing exclusive titles that will really pull players in their direction. It's been a hell of a few years for Epic, so keep your eye on them to keep up the madness moving forward. Anyway, moving on to our final story of the week, we dive into the deep ocean of nostalgia with the big news that Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 will be receiving full remasters. For some of the younger viewers who may not know, Pro Skater was a massively popular skateboarding game for us 20 and 30 something year old kids. Pro Skater originally dropped for the old school consoles like the original PlayStation and the original Xbox all the way back in the year 2000. The timing of the original release couldn't have been more perfect as it was placed in the middle of the skateboarding explosion and more broadly the extreme sport revolution. With the Pro Skater bundle dropping on Tony Hawk's birthday, September 4th, the timing for this game couldn't be any more perfect 
project, as I couldn't think of a better way to usher out the old generation of consoles. By bringing back a widely beloved series during a time like this is a great move and I can't wait to get my hands on these games. The only real question I have at this point is how much will the games cost? I assume since they bundled two games together it will retail for the full $60 price point. However, no matter how nostalgic these titles are, this feels like a pretty steep price and I'm afraid the success of the game kind of depends on the price. I truly feel like the right play here is to list Pro Skater around the $40 mark. If they can put it on the market for a lower price, this game will sell like crazy. Which in my opinion, everyone being back on Pro Skater would be the absolute most nostalgic thing ever. Anyway, that will do it for this video. Make sure you hit like, click or tap that subscribe button to become the heart of this gaming channel, and be a part of the conversation in the comments below by telling everyone how you feel about any and all of today's gaming stories. And for more gaming analysis, news, reviews, and opinions, stay here on Ash Heart. And as always, thanks for watching.